Okay, how are we doing guys? So this is uh, the handover document video. Just really quickly, my name is Sean Kelleher. Feel free to contact me. Even if this is someone 10 years down the line, contact me. Um, I'll be more than willing to help you out. Okay, so my experience, I kind of did compete internationally. And I say compete, like I very much did for recreational and fun. I wasn't representing Ireland, but I did do these kind of like long, week-long uh, orienteering events where it's like a stage every day. So I've made a Google Drive. I definitely access that. That is a bunch of resources for you that will really help you out. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Congratulations. Well done. You are going to be the change that powers on OBC. And it's such a class thing to do. Um, again, fight for like everything uh, if you need to, but most people are fairly sound. Most people on committee just want everyone to do well so like don't let anyone put you down if they are being rude but like forget about them um it's never really happened to me thank god but like just try to get the best engagement you can okay so um i'm just gonna put a timer on as well and cool so plan 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 this is the best thing you can do plan 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 so you do not want it um, you want to go to Glendalough and Ladbrack yourself, like you should. It's a great social experience. So don't put anything on that weekend. So work around that weekend. Um, genuinely, those Ladbrack and, and Glendalough, which will be probably next semester, put those on and go to them. It'll be fantastic. Um, it's really, really great to go to those events. So it kind of allows you to kind of scaffold your skills when you plan stuff out. So like this is the initial one, the harder one you know, keep building them up. And like maybe put another orienteering event here. There's no right way to do this, you know, and, and it can be a working document. It can change. It's completely cool if this changes and you say, oh crap, actually Rag Week is on week six. I'm not doing anything Rag Week. Um, but I actually ran some stuff on Rag Week and people came. So like, you know, um, and again, if people don't come to your events, like don't get upset genuinely, like that's their loss. You're putting on a great show. Even if two people show up, it's beneficial. I feel like you're like Jesus, where like two or two or more people are gathered in my name, like it's it's worth it. You know what I mean? I know that sounds really like blasphemous, but like it's true. It's like if even just one person shows up, it's fantastic. So building up your skills, scaffolding your skills like a staircase, that's cool. Now run weekly events gives you a great opportunity to socialize, makes contact, puts you on the map, and get a few people. You don't always have to be at the run, genuinely. Try and be there if you can. But like if you if you're busy, if you got something on, if you got an appointment, you can't be it. Like get someone else on the committee to do it, or get somebody else in core, or get you know form a little group. You should have a little group, hopefully from last year. Some of the remnants will that will still be there, but form a little group. Okay, get them to to come come with you, and you know you can kind of make um the route. change up the route. Do it like I've discovered all these cool paths which we'll talk about, um, and go over rough terrain. Um, and pick times before climbing, make it convenient for people. Like I wanted to go climbing afterwards. I wanted to do everything in the club. So I wanted to go climbing afterwards. So like, don't put it on during climbing because it'll clash. Now, sometimes that's fair enough. It'll clash. It can't, things can't clash. Like here now, let's say it might be ladder frack. There might be a really cool hike on week six as well. It'll clash. Look, you know what I mean, if that's what you want to do, it's what you have to do. Like you can't, you can't, you know, you can't get out of the way for everyone else, but you have to kind of make a concerted effort to, uh, just be conscious of it. Um, so th that's the main thing. Just be careful of the fracking that block and Brandon and anything that's really big. Cool. So yeah, orienteering is for, not for softies. Um, map skills. So like if you were to start tomorrow, okay, we're or doing, or doing our orienteering event, get your group together, talk to them about orienteering, go through the basic navigational skills. I've left a bunch of videos that I'll put in uh, this document and they'll be at the bottom um, of this as well. So like, just how would you plan it? Okay. I've made a few maps, use them. They'll be easy. If you want to make your own, do. If you want to use them, do. It's up to you. But like these are nice, simple, easy ones. Get everyone in a big group. Talk to them how you are going to walk from control one to control two. Talk about the difference of vegetation. Talk about the difference in um, different uh, buildings. Okay. Like orientated off buildings using micro navigation skills, bearings, etc. Okay. Um, and ask for help. Ask for help to help people to help you set up and, and take stuff. Most, most people will be very willing to help if you ask politely. And most people are very sound and like very easy to handle. with. Um, it's very rare I've had to deal with anybody who's a bit rude. And if they are, just don't, just straight up, like they're not on trips. If people are being rude to you, you deserve to be respected. And if they're not, that's cool. So yeah, just bring them around, small activity. I've, I've gone through step-by-step step what you do there. Then when they come back, put them on this little course. It's a lovely little course. Get them to walk it, get them to run it if they want. And don't be afraid if people make mistakes. I DNF my first few orienteering events. I have no shame in saying it, but I was still able to go compete internationally. And that can be inspiring for people who feel like it can be very like, oh, upsetting and people are very critical of themselves. You know, keep driving on. Um, and if we do not learn from experience, we do not, uh, we, we learn from reflecting on experience. So get people together, right? And afterwards say, look guys, what about control number one? Anybody have problems with that? No, Brand. Okay, control actually 14. Geez, that was difficult. That was hidden in the bush there. I couldn't find that at all. Talk about that. You know, like that's 
learning, learn, you learn from your mistakes and then kind of build up your more kind of on campus orienting events. I made this one third year, it was a nice one down by the Kemi where I used to park my bike, you know, flew down there. That was a good orienting event to do. Um, then I kind of made another one this semester and like there's cool trails I've kind of discovered here, which I would love to incorporate in, but that would be more of a hard kind of orienting event on campus. This is a very, like, this is probably the hardest one I had. Um, but it's not even about that. It's about if you can, you do it faster, more competently. Okay. So for weekend events, plan, 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 you know, plan advance, have a good idea what you're going to do, put it on Google um on the email advertise on email and then send an email out yourself okay send email write an email you can copy and paste ones i did from last year who what where when when are we going what are we doing you know who's going that and and that's what you should do put that stuff out transport ul okay you can get the vehicles or you can get drivers subsidized fuel selection selection try to bring the people that are most interested and people of the most dedicated the people who've shown up um, and again, try to get Irish people if you can, because they're the longevity of the club. Erasmus students are fantastic and they fill most of the events, but they're not going to be here maybe next semester or next year. So again, I love my my international people. They're so much fun, so much crack. I have friends in Germany, and Italy, and uh, everywhere in Spain. I've got friends all over because of in Finland and, and Sweden. I have friends all over the place, but like just try to get people that are Irish and try to pick out people for the future that will take over from you. It's very important. So the right course, the right people, like if someone's not very athletic, don't put them on a hard course, put them on the easiest course you can get. Um, but like you want everyone to probably doing a red course, um, a brown course would even be like a bit difficult for me. Um, I would do it if I wanted a bit of a challenge. I'd get around, but like, I don't necessarily want that all the time. There's a school bell. Um, in the varsity competitions, there was one this year. It was really cool, really awesome. Go to it, get involved, get stuck in, show up. Don't be intimidated by anyone. There are people there that compete internationally. You're going out and you're doing your best and never be put down. If people don't show up, if things don't go to plan, you're doing your best and you're doing fantastic and you're putting yourself out there and you're volunteering. Nobody's paying you. So it's it's fantastic and nobody's going to give out to you. post realist race analysis. So this is something I'm going to look at there. So I've got a thing called Root Gadget here, right? And what I've done is I've pulled up my data. So you should definitely get yourself a watch, get yourself a smartwatch. You can literally see where you went wrong. So mine is in uh, blue. My friend Dan is in green. You can see where he went wrong and where I went wrong, or what, not even wrong, where we went wrong, but what different kind of root choices we made. By reflecting, you'll learn. If you want to take it to the next level, go on to Root Gadget. It's on the Irish Orienteering, um, Irish Orienteering uh, website. Okay, so getting back to um, making maps. Okay, so you're going to make maps. I basically made a little template for you here. Um, very easy to follow. There's two, two different uh, templates. Um, so like follow those, very easy to follow. I can, you can literally just like copy and paste stuff. Now I use SolidWorks, I'll put it up here. It just probably be more accurate. You can get a bit more finer detail. I would try to use that if you can, but don't stress like, look, it's, it's a campus map. It's not supposed to be anything amazing. Um, you know, it's not, it's not a, an, an event run for the public, it's just run for privately and it'll it'll definitely do the job. So don't stress if you can't use how it works. Um, hype up orienteering, be the person that, you know, you, you know, you're representative orienteering and you're gonna be associated with orienteering. So if you're sound cool, just genuinely like I'm not trying to sound like myself now, but if you're if you're if you're just bringing an energy and a vibe to the place, it'll be fantastic. But if you're if you're kind of like not really into it, that'll also kind of reflect as well. Goals, have a few goals. Look, mine were to bring people to universities. I did so much. Looking back, I was very self-critical of myself, but I was really happy what I achieved in the end. I did actually so much. I'm very happy with myself um, because of that. You know, like I was also trying to do a lot of the other stuff. I was doing the climbing and hiking, and I was one of the more experienced people on committee. So I was kind of dipping my foot into a lot of different things as well and doing a lot of different work, um, which you kind of wouldn't even realize until you look back and you say, geez, I was helping organize trips and I was helping organize food. And I was, you know, doing the shop for food. And then I was on a hike leader and then I was doing climbing supervising and then I was teaching them about the belay. And you know, there's so much going on. Social media, huge thing, really important. Get access to it. You're more than entitled to access to it. Ask, it'll be Anna and Lauren this year. Ask them to make real reels. Now I made my own because I knew I could probably do a great job and I didn't want to put it on anybody else. It's up to them to do it as well. But what I would say is be more than uh, willing to kind of um, more than willing to kind of get stuck in and make a reel. That reel puts everyone on the map. It puts everyone on the map, you know? So like, just just make 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 Instagram posts, put a post on in the evening and say, look, weekly run, 6.30, you know, come along, it'll be a bit of fun or we'll have pizza afterwards. Wider responsibilities again, like you can dip your foot in and help other people if you want, you know? It's all about supporting each other on committee. So like, if, you know, I was doing a lot of stuff, like I really wanted to, let's say, get 
some new first years in and like i was on the trips and like that's even why i know like sophie and anna because i saw their names i knew they were first years i highlighted them i made a color coded list i said oh sophie and anna put them on i didn't even know who they were generally didn't know who they were but they were, i knew they were first years and i said look we need more people on so try to get first years involved with orienteering but even at trips be sound to first years you know like i know like the biggest reason i'm in this club is because it was a girl called Maeve. And uh, there's another club called Ashland as well, and Cahal and Dahi. But like, they may basically force me to go to the letter frack trip. She basically forced me to go to the letter frack trip. And as a result, I'm in the club ever since. And I kind of did that, I feel like, for Anna and, and Sophie and a few other people and a few internationals as well. Like, I kind of put them on the trip to make sure that they would have a good time. And, you know, if they're sound people, they're good fun. Like, you have a role in that as well. Like, even like Michael, like, I may, I was trying, you know, always trying to make um, him involved. And, you know get him to go to things and you know just make him feel involved and make him feel welcome make everyone feel welcome but particularly the firsters that you can um so yeah basically you're gonna go a lot as a person when you're doing this kind of uh role and i think you know you're very sad to see it go but like it'll um it'll actually be grand in the end you know it's really really um really amazing you get this opportunity so i really recommend it and you know i am sad to see it go but at the same time um like it's such an amazing opportunity and you grow so much as a person like i have that picture there for a reason like you will grow so much as a person as much as a joking around it's such a great role to take so um yeah just make sure you just promote it if you can't see it you can't be it if it's not out there if it's not on social media you can't really see it so use your solid works um you know use your powerpoint use your root gadget um which is loading for me now but like, yeah, there's everything there. Don't hesitate to contact me. And honestly, if you're gonna make this hand hand of document, um, just you might as well just put put another pick cover page saying, look, Dara, whatever, and just copy and paste mine, save yourself the hassle because I put so much work into this. Um and I think it's it's quite well done. Of course, add to it. If you want to copy it and add to it, go for it. And just don't like plagiarize me. I wanna I wanna see some citations, no I'm joking. But just don't don't completely plagiarize me. But like everything there is pretty good. So um yeah i'll see you around and uh, don't hesitate to contact if you need to so yeah thanks very much and i will end it there